Hi, this is Ashley back with another reading, and this reading is going to be on Diddy and who does he want, okay? He just posted a picture of Carisha, aka Young Miami, okay? They were holding hands. Um, then, like a week or two ago, he posted a picture of J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, and then, um, like a year ago, he was seen out with uh, Lori Harvey. Um, a couple months ago, he was seen out with uh, Miracle Watts. So who does Diddy want, okay? Before we get into the reading, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. This reading is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Let me fix my jacket. Okay, so let's start off with Carisha and Diddy. What is going on between Carisha and Diddy? Carisha, AKA Young Miami, Sean Combs. What is going on between Carisha and Diddy? Okay. So definitely there is motive behind these pictures, okay? There is motive behind these these pictures. Don't be fooled. Okay, the Three of Cups, this talks about a friendship. Um, this talks about um, working on a relationship. So Young Miami is trying to develop some sort of rapport with Diddy, okay? The Three of Cups, it talks about friendship. The Four of Pentacles is here. This talks about a good investment, okay? Upright, you know, the Four of Pentacles talks about money, savings, a good investment. So basically what I'm, I'm getting here is that Young Miami is trying to get close to Diddy for opportunities, okay? We do have the Ace of Cups. This talks about something being prosperous. She knows that Diddy is very um, powerful in the music business, in the industry, and she's trying to get close to him, okay? We also have the Three of Pentacles. This talks about collaboration, um, working together. So she's trying to work with him, okay? It also seems like she's not too happy with QC, okay? The energy I'm picking up on is I got to move on to the next best thing. Okay, we do have the, the hair font card here. This talks about challenging the status quo. This means, um, you know, she's going against the grain. She's doing things that she may know is not really a good look, but realistically, she's focused on the bag. So she's trying to get close to Diddy to get opportunities, okay? I told y'all in the post, um, you know, Carisha and JT, they mostly care about money. I've been saying that. So they trying to get to the bag, okay? The you know the cards are very um, gimme gimme. Like I want opportunities, I want money, okay? So basically, um, with the Ace of Pentacles, she wants to be able to be successful, okay? And the energy I'm picking up on is she's not really too happy with QC. She's trying to get under another powerful figure, okay? Um, because as I've told you guys before, you know, Denny, Camel Face, they're very powerful in the music business, okay? They can help you. They can make or break your career, okay? So it looks like she's trying to develop some sort of rapport with him. Um, have Carisha and Denny been intimate? Have Carisha, Young Miami, and... Diddy been intimate with each other? Have they gotten romantically close? Diddy and Carisha, have they gotten romantically close to each other? It looks like there's definite possibility of them getting romantically close to get to each other. The the Seven of Swords is here. This talks about sneaking around, okay? Doing things underhanded. Now, I could have sworn Young Miami was with Southside. So that's probably why I'm getting the Seven of Swords kind of sneaking around, doing things underhanded. 
Um, and then we have the moon card. This talks about being fearful. This talks about having anxiety, okay? So in a sense, Carisha is a little bit afraid of Diddy, okay? She doesn't really want um, to really turn down any of his advances. So it looks like um, that they definitely could be sneaking around, if not now in the future, because the energy I'm picking up on is she's not going to turn down his advances. She wants to really come off, um, off of Diddy. She wants to be able to have him help her in her career. Okay, we also have the Eight of Pentacles. This talks about determination. She's determined to be successful. She's determined to, you know, get to the bag, okay? We also have the Fool card. This talks about kind of being spontaneous, um, taking risks. So she knows being with Diddy could be a risk, but she's willing to take it, okay, for the sake of her career. And we do have the Ace of Wands, okay? This talks about, you know, extending that olive branch, okay? So... Basically, if Diddy says, you know, you know, I want to go on a date or I want to do this, she's going to be with it. OK, she's going to be with it because her eyes are on the bag. OK, and then we have the Knight of Wands. This talks about someone that's impulsive. So this is basically Carisha and Diddy. They're both kind of impulsive when it comes to love or just dating someone. They go head first in. OK. So don't be shocked. It looks like, you know, there's definitely something brewed between them. But for Carisha's end, it's more because of um, she wants the opportunities. And, you know, Diddy, you know, he, he's going to go with any chick in the game that's really hot or on the come up. He doesn't really care because he knows he's being used. He don't even care. All these chicks are going to use him. Okay, so let's see. How does Diddy feel about J-Lo? How does Diddy, Sean Combs, feel about Jennifer Lopez? Diddy, how does he feel about J-Lo? Mm, okay. So we do have, you know, the devil card in reverse. This talks about detachment. So it looks like their their relationship is kind of like not what it used to be. Um, it does look like he, he wants a second chance. But the thing is, he also kind of judges the way she moves. So he wants a second chance, but he kind of judges the way she moves. He thinks that she doesn't move the way she should. Okay, the judgment card is here. This talks about being critical of someone. So I think it has a lot to do with her, you know, going from A-Rod, then being seen out with Ben Affleck. Then there was rumors that she was with some other guy. I forgot his name. And so he feels like she doesn't move correctly. She's not um, careful about the way people perceived her. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. It talks about somebody that is impulsive. So he... If given the second chance, he would, you know, go back with J-Lo just for the sake of good times. He wouldn't do anything for the long haul. It would just be the sake of good times, you know. You know, we used to date back in the day. But he's actually very critical of her, okay? So it's almost like, yeah, you know, I would smash, obviously, your Jennifer Lopez. But I don't like the way you move, okay? I don't like the way you carry yourself, the, the world card is here. This talks about life cycles. So it's almost like he knows that even if they do get back together, it'd be more likely a fling. Um, it wouldn't be anything for the long haul, okay? Um, but he wouldn't mind going back to J-Lo. It's just that he don't like the way she basically carries herself. Um, the Six of Swords talks about eventually kind of walking away, okay? So eventually, they're both going to withdraw from the relationship, because it's like, oh, the same old thing we were doing before, okay? And I think J-Lo, she's very detached from Diddy. She doesn't really want to go back to what, you know, could have been. You know what I'm saying? She feels like he he's never really going to change for her. And she also does judge him too. She also does judge him too. But he's more judgmental of her because he feels like she moves on too fast, Okay. So let's see. Why did Diddy post that picture with J Lo? Why did 
Diddy post that throwback picture of J-Lo? Why did he post that throwback picture of J-Lo on his Instagram? Diddy Combs. Um, it looks like he just, he, you know, it's almost like he kind of did it for attention, okay? It was uh, impulsive of him to do it. Um, you know, the Queen of Swords just talks about somebody that's kind of independent, somebody that um, is not easily influenced, okay? And that's how he views J-Lo. He kind of did it just to get her attention, um, he knew that people were going to talk about it. It really had nothing, it really had nothing to do about how he feels about her. He just kind of did it because he's a person, he does like attention. He likes when people are talking about him, okay? Um, we also have the sun card here, which is, uh, you know, being weak. The, this is what the sun card in reverse represents, weak mindedness. Um, feeling hopeless. So he's not really, um, you know, I wouldn't say chasing Jennifer. He's kind of like, oh, if it happens, it happens. Um, I don't really like the way you move. I know you're seeing this one and that one. He feels like she has a lot of options. He didn't just the strength of um, getting attention. You know, he knew people were going to talk about it. Um, you know, the King of Cups, this talks about somebody that's kind of impulsive. Um, passionate, um, think, thinks on the fly, does things on the fly, and craves attention. Also, the King of Cups um, represents somebody that's kind of charming, knows how to get their way. So he thought it was just a good move to get um, Jennifer's attention, okay? But she really was unbothered by the whole thing, okay? It really doesn't seem like she gave it too much attention. Like I said, he wouldn't mind hooking up with J-Lo again, but it doesn't look like he's, he sees like, oh, you know, I'm going to go the long call with you, okay? Um, let's see. How does Diddy feel about Lori Harvey? How does Diddy, Diddy Combs, how does he feel about Lori Harvey? Mm, interesting. So, um, Ten of Swords, this talks about someone that's kind of a backstabber. So he doesn't really trust Lori Harvey, okay? He feels like she's very strategic. Um, we also have the Nine of Wands. He's kind of, he's always kind of watching her, kind of watching the way she moves, okay? And then we have the, um, the Four of Cups. He feels like she's kind of on the come up, you know, somebody that kind of has to attach herself to other celebrity men for a come up. So um, he doesn't feel like she will ever really have a 100% genuine relationship with somebody because every time she dates someone, it has to be someone in the music business, has to not in the music business, but somebody in the industry. Okay, so he feels like she's always looking for a come up. We also have the four wands. This talks about somebody that cares about success, somebody that cares about money. That's how he views her. So he, he kind of feels like she's always going to be on the come up. Um, he doesn't fully trust her. Okay. For whatever reason. Um, but that's how he feels about Lori Harvey. Let's see. How does he feel about Miracle Watts? I remember he was seen out with her. How does, did he feel about Miracle Watts? Diddy Combs, how does he feel about Miracle Watts? Mm, okay, so we do have, you know, the Three of Swords. 
something like it seems like the relationship kind of ended in heartbreak okay or they didn't really end on the best of terms you know it seems as though she's not really going to talk about it but it doesn't seem like they ended on the best of terms we got the star card that talks about being hopeful for the future okay so he in the future might want to rekindle with miracle watts but it doesn't look like um that they ended on good terms i never see him with her as much but um i remember they were always around each other okay the two of swords they both got um their guard up with each other they both have their guard up with each other okay so it seems as though that relationship just went south somewhere okay you know the three of swords it talks about heartbreak working alone um not being able to really trust someone 100 percent. okay and so that relationship didn't it didn't look like it was really going to go anywhere anyway. Well, did he ever settle down? Because he about, what, 55, 60? Well, did he, Combs, Sean Combs, will he ever settle down or get married? Did he? Sean Combs, will he ever settle down or get married? I see that he wants to settle down, but he has too many options, okay? Most of his relationships are going to be short-term, okay? The Seven of Pentacles, this talks about um, short-term reward in reverse, okay? So most of his relationships are going to be short-term. Um, he has too many options, too many women around him. Um, the Seven of Cups, this talks about having a lot of options, being able to see multiple women, okay? We also have the Hermit card. This talks about hidden secrets. This talks about hidden secrets, hiding something. So he's never going to be 100% faithful. Women are going to eventually um, walk walk away from him because the Eight of Cups is here. This talks about withdrawal. So it seems as though women are eventually going to try to walk away from him. The money is not going to be able to keep them um, once they get older, we also have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This talks about bad karma, okay? So I don't know. I think he might have, he could possibly have bad love karma. I That's the, you know, the energy I'm picking up on. We also have the Four of Swords. It talks about contemplation. So he does think about settling down, but he just has too many options. He has too many women that are just willing to sleep with him because of the status he has and his power that he holds in the industry. And it kind of takes away from the actual women that probably really care about him, okay? So it's just really not in his future right now. Maybe things can change in a year. Anyway, if you like this reading, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. This reading was strictly for entertainment purposes only, and I hope you have a great day.